an amazing vampire cake that perfectly captures the nostalgia of summer nights is Maria. We're so excited for this cake, Maria. Yeah, Maria. And Barbara. You, pro you had to stick around because this I, cake is perfect for Chesapeake Shores. It, it is because we always have the family fire pit meetings. Yes. Always. Oh, so. you see? Yeah, hello. Oh, Wouldn't this be perfect? With yeah, this? It's a good place no, to no, have no, your, Since you're a Mimi, your kids Can would I, love no, to no, meet. Yeah, dig oh, in. Dying, you guys okay, we're going in. We're going in. Barbara started us off. And like, yeah. Oh, yeah. your grandkids would love it. My son <laughs> There's nothing loves, like a toasted Oh, my gosh. So that's summer right there. Yep. And my son loves s'mores. He inherited my sweet tooth. You can see Grant right there. And I always talk about when I grew up in Michigan, it was not a summer night without a bonfire sure. growing up in Michigan. So it's sort of that smell of the toasted yeah. marshmallows mm. and the, the nostalgia. nostalgia. It's, it's so just nice. summer camp in a cake. It, it really is summer so camp in a cake. Uh, Let's get started. Oh, okay. So okay. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so we have our cake here. This is just a, you can use whatever cake you like if you okay. like chocolate, oh. if you like vanilla. This is my chocolate buttercream recipe okay. because I'm addicted to it and that's what I have on here oh because I wanted God. to make it look like a tree stump. Okay. So, so the so trick good. here really is to grab a fork oh and you can do a really messy layer. You don't have to worry about this really being that perfect. Perfect. Okay. And so you can see here, I got it already started with a little bit of the fork, but you can just kind of do some swirl. So Barbara, this is like where you can get the kids involved. Yeah, so I was gonna Definitely. say, my grandkids like would love that. So and you just they take a fork and just swirls. do that. Because kind of yeah, like, cool. in a way, the messier the better. You think exactly. Pretty much almost do whatever they want. Exactly. Yeah, it looks like the bark from the, from the tree bark, stuff. And you, just, you can see, I'm oh going to turn it a little so bit so you can cool. see that's like what I've done. And that's all you do there to create the, the little that's log. That's very cool. Yeah. Okay. So you can't the, have a bark. bark a little bit. Eat a little bit. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's going to happen. Okay, so how do we make the flames, the flames on top of the cake like that? So I'm going to set this aside over here. So this is what's really fun. So to create flames, and I had created I created flames before with mm. candy coating chocolate, right. but I wanted something that really created, I don't know, just that real like fire look. So candy, enter hard candy. Just any hard candy. So yeah, you wanna go, so these are the colors that I have. So obviously red and working yellow. with something that looks like fire. This is a butterscotch, and this is just uh, a, a red a candy. Cherry probably. Like exactly, a jolly like a cherry. Kind of thing. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Like a, a jolly, jolly rancher, rancher basically. Kind of yeah, so what you do is you pop it in uh, uh, like, a, like a plastic bag oh. and, and, and yeah. Beat it. Know, Beat it. Oh. Yeah. You want to do like a rolling pin. Get your aggression out, and uh, yeah, and then you just uh, dump it out like so. How do you assemble it on the um, parchment paper to make sure it's going to come out looking like a flame? So in order to do the accuracy of a flame, right. uh, what I like to do is I like to mm -hmm. put the red along the outside and the yellow in the middle, and then I'll show you. Cause you just made this it. up. How can you be so clever? This is my job, Barbara. I don't know if you know this, Barbara, but we have professionals. Oh <laughs> I go home yes. from these segments, and I look like a hero in my I am so glad that I'm impressed, Barbara Nivis. Okay. <laughs> so I kind of mess it up a little oh, bit, too. So it's kind there. of like a go. little bit of the flame on the, there and we'll adjust a little bit it's more. Very okay. This is what so you do. Okay. And I have it on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. We're going to pop it in the oven at 350 degrees. At for how long? Six to ten minutes. Keep your eye on it. It goes from zero to 60 really like fast. That. And okay. so and it, would it be will a real bonfire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. Well, there is no ta-da because our ta-da is here. <laughs> <laughs> to actually yeah, really making does. it get those like flames like that yeah. happens when it's still warm. Exactly, so when it's still warm, what you wanna do is grab a toothpick, even a couple, and you kinda go like this. So you want it to, right when it comes out, do that. And that will do like the little flames you can see here, and it kinda creates a marbling effect. Wow. And then you wanna let it cool. set. I am amazed. It's yeah. so, so cool. really. Yeah, this is Mimi really can do cool. this and you'll amaze the grandchildren too. Exactly. So how do we break it? You just, just like that. Break. <gasps> yep. Just go at it. And That's so, so fun. Isn't it fun? It's very, to quote, orally satisfying. Highly oh, yeah. satisfying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> satisfying. And so you, there's your flames. And it can be a little sticky, of course, but that's just part of I kinda, the process. This is kind of just probably delicious. Like, oh, you go it is right, delicious. Yeah, we've been, we've been nibbling on it over here. Mm. Yeah. So that's a way. Oh, that's right. That's right. You don't wear that. Earrings. Anything. Oh, it's very Seriously. nice. I'll, I'll put it on a necklace. For earrings. <laughs> well, sticky. So you go back over to your cake, and you can do Ooh. a couple of whatever options you like for the actual sticks, but these are just the pretzel rods. There you I go. love it, which is like the wood. the fire. Exactly. I see what you're getting so now. You kind of place. Now, what about a technique for putting the... The to candy put the up there to make it so, look like a flame. Like, what's that? What's that look like? The, so basically, the technique that I like to do is kind of create your circle. And in my world, I just like to have a big piece of cake, so you can just 
This is these are your slices. Oh my god! And you, <laughs> You're not I kidding. Hope I like it. Madness. And these will just stick up like this. And That's really, cute. truly, really Cameron, great. it's, it's a pretty that. easy oh, just process. You just, just kind of go of, in there. You just kind of go good, in. It works. Exactly. And you can just kind of play a little bit. And the the beauty of this being really oh, like Maria, a, a the so cake doesn't have to be super. That would win any family reunion contest. Yeah. Oh, can I come? Can I please come? You have contests in your family reunion. Competitive group of people. They are competitive. I was just thinking maybe we got to start the top girls. Not just by KF. See at our house. Now, oh as amazing goodness. as that looks, you cannot possibly have a bonfire without having s'mores as well. And I see this right yes, here. You got to talk me through this. This is so genius. genius. I had to add a touch <laughs> of marshmallow in there somehow. And so, what mm. this really is is just the the pretzels. And you can use a kitchen torch if you are in that wheelhouse okay. where you are brave enough to use one. And uh, you can do that, or you can put it over a fire. A fire. You can put over your, over your gas, gas, over your gas, gas burner. burner. Oh my God. Exactly. Just like that. Oh this yeah. stuff smells That's so good. There's nothing that smells like toasted marshmallow. You could wear it. Mm. Oh. 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 She really wants to turn into wearing food. Wearing food.